Hey, hey, hey. Three, two, one. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Gang, We're bang. not gang associated in the brain <laughs> cake. But we do have a gang bang of stupid ideas and weird conversations. <laughs> wow, and welcome back to 97.3. What the fuck just happened here? Uh, we started an episode of Brain Cakes there. Where the hell have you been? I don't know. In the it last actually, one, it actually just started isn't Brain Cake. This is not, the, not for this episode. This is Brain Baked. Brain Baked. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, this, <laughs> well, this is the gun boy. And then over there is uh, Jer Jer. Over here is Mr. Kiwi. And over here is Mimi. Damn, so, man, I like Mr. Kiwi. Me? I feel like Mr. Kiwi would be like a, a cute children's book character. You're like a you're like a it's DJ like a, star in the morning on 97.4. <laughs> and, and Mr. This, Kiwi! See, that would be nice if we were in, like, New York, New York. That would be a prize title, but, like, where we're in a shithole town. Just, they're, they're, they're not really, you know, uh, don't, don't make it to the top. Jam and John Caldwell oh, be your shit. main competition. Yeah, yeah, Jam and John. Shouts out to Jam and John. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. John? You guys, I think it's antithetical to what we're trying to do here to call out Jam and John. I'm not calling out Jam and John. I'm, I'm literally shouting him out. I think he'll come out. down on us with the force of 100,000. Oh, shit, you're probably right. What? He's saying, like, he we he would destroy us. Yeah. He'd sick people and, and, on us? And no, yeah. no. In, in yeah, terms, like the mafia? No, in terms of radio oh, games, yeah, like he would mafia, destroy us. Yeah. He'd send out the mafia. Dude. He would destroy us in terms of radio he is, game, He's man. living in a palace right now, man. It'd be like what? self-destruct mode. We'd be fucked. <laughs> but shout <laughs> out to Jamie and John for real, Jeremy. though. No, bro. no, John's cool, man. No, John is cool. I, li- I like what he does. He's like, a dream like- chaser. So. He, he, he really I is. Enjoy, yeah, I enjoy John. I and, respect and, like, him. I man. respect how he goes at what he wants to do. John, if like, you're hearing this, we need you on an episode of Brain Cakes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, to me... I don't know if I can go that far. <laughs> everything is... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would be interested to see just what his Oh, yeah, no, I would be interested, but, like... Uh, are you saying you... Is Gunner trying to can. throw down I'm a trying gauntlet? To, yeah, yeah, I'm Gunner's, trying to... God, I'm, we're going to have a debate. This oh, is a no. John Caldwell Gunner debate. John Come Caldwell. <laughs> Oh, no. And then we can do a real show after, but it begins with the debate. I think he's got a... I've got a yard. Oh, You've shit. got a yard. <laughs> Between the two of us, I'm sure some of us can find a venue. <laughs> Are you going to lay that promo I'm challenging out. John Caldwell <laughs> to a champion versus champion match. <sighs> uh. Well, John Caldwell. Speaking to the microphone, sir. <laughs> Mm. There's another one right there, sir. Speaking to them. Yeah. What are you? De- what are you challenging him to, sir? What, what, like, what, what's the what's the debate we're having? I already said everything I needed to see. I really don't feel like you did. I really feel like I did. I Step really- into a slim gym. Now you just impersonate somebody else. That's copyright infringement. I really want you to speak from the heart, sir. That's not copyright. He's a sponsor of them. Go ahead, Gunner. Go on. I paid $25. Uh Uh-huh. I paid $25 to impersonate the macho man. Why did you pay pay $25? Because there was a display at Murphy USA. (laughs) Wow. You heard that, headphone users. I'm sorry, R.I.P. headphone <laughs> users, R.I.P. in peace, motherfuckers. You have been slaughtered by the by the vocals of outside of Walmart. <laughs> Gun boy is out of control, that ladies was and the gentlemen. Sequel. It was a slim gym. He's in top form. <laughs> Container <laughs> of what? <laughs> of slim gyms. R.I.P. headphone oh, users God. again. It's all right. It's okay. Hey. We'll, f- we'll fix it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we might we not. Who gives a fuck? Fuck. This is a... He's in top form, everyone, so... Bear with us. I think we're all on top. Gun top boy. Form. I think we all have our third eyes glowing right now. Gun boy's fully loaded, bro. You get that pun there? I see what you're doing there. Fully hey, loaded. Kiwi boy. Gun boy. Yeah. He's cock-locked and ready to rock. Seek? Slim, no. It's our Slim Jims. No. What you see. Yeah. Every bit of the grease. You saw where I was going with that. Yours. Come with me. 
Let's go to an island where I can find people like-minded as yourself and I can be a host to all of your ideas as a leader. Islands in the stream. Yeah, Islands in the stream, that'll be the name. That is what we are. Yeah. We are one with nature. One in between. We've been given this right to be birthed to this earth with Slim Jims. How can we be wrong? The soil between our toes. <laughs> the earth that rocks beneath our wings. Sailing away with me. The oxygen from the trees. The trees. The heat from the sun. The, world. the sun. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What the hell? <laughs> Well, I mean, guys, this is, I mean, this is brain baked, okay? And hopefully, this shit's overcooked, actually. I hope this shit sticks, <laughs> man, this this name that you've given it's this. Good. I really hope it sticks to the wall like butter. I mean, like it's butter. got to, because uh, there's no other explanation. <laughs> to what about a, a brain staked, you know, like someone drove a giant steak, steak for your in skull? The is that a me. bad episode? No, that, so that, that was a no, that would be brain. Steak. That would be brain raped. Is what that would be. I'll have to oh, no. in the refrigerator for you guys. Her brain flaked. I don't know. That means My somebody was flaked. supposed to be on an episode of the podcast I'll and they just didn't show up and we spent 10 minutes flaked. bashing them. It's a brain oh, flake. Damn. I'm just letting That's like you know. That's like a rule. That's, yeah. I missed out on an if opportunity they missed their point, to come here. I, know what, I left I know that what, steak in the fridge. Oh, guys, I, I realize if, if brain bake doesn't work for this, I think brain break. Or brain <laughs> broke, or brain breaked, or something breaked. There you break, go, because it break, doesn't make break. sense. Yeah. Brain break. Brain break. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because it's just like a fucking puzzle right now for me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just trying to piece this shit together. Brain quaked. Brain quaked. Yeah. How about a uh, brain great? I don't know, like a good, like a gutter. Brain great. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. The fuck, you got your mind in the gutter, Jimmy. You got That's your you. mind, you got your mind in the gutter. Got your dick in the dirt, boy. Oh boy, don't your dick don't it hurt? <laughs> Is that I the bet fucking? It does. When you slam it in the dirt, do you make you want to squirt? Is that the baddest of them all? How much more uh-uh. does it make you want to flirt with the dirt underneath your toes and your and your? You know what? My cousin knew that song oh, last yeah. summer when I mentioned it to him. Who? Kyle. I mean, he he knew what song? The baddest. The baddest of them all. Did he yeah. like like it unironically? No, no, okay. he did not. Thank God he liked it ironically. Dude, can I tell you? I mean, he didn't no, like so it much. ironically. He hated it. Oh, he hated it. He hated it. Why couldn't he enjoy it for what it was? I don't think comedy. He, I don't think he understood he that it was joke. ironic. He, I think he, uh, he thought it was a little bit ironic, this but it terrible. did not stick for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, can I tell you what was the baddest <laughs> okay, of them all? That. Me and Jeremy here, we went 12 days. Of Christmas? No, <laughs> no, I, no more like that hell. More That's like hell. It was skin melting hell. We oh had God, 12 days without air, air. Con- air conditioning. Oh, 12 shit. days it was out. It's horrible, man. And it's That's been in like to me. the top. It, like, my, mom keeps it, yeah. my mom keeps it, no joke, 69 degrees in the house. Well, that's all fucking nice, but we were and living in like between 87 to 110 inside the apartment Wait, at all times. That's there, beautiful. Is 69 like what, that's, that's, that's evil to me. That's a nice temperature. That's evil yeah, to me. Yeah, me too. That's evil like to me. Evil? Yes. That's evil. so dark. That is that is fucking. It's an evil temperature. That is that the is first temperature. Gunner and the search to cure the lost temperature. Ghost that is frost miser. What? That is frost miser temperature. Frost miser. I mean, what what is that? What is frost you know, miser temperature? In the fucking in the uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh my god! I thought that was like the. Isn't there like a perfect temperature? They say that you can keep it on when you when you're at work. And it like makes the employees work faster. <laughs> Get God, to work. that's Slave. dark. Yeah, it's called Antarctica because that's, that's called fucking work. worker abuse. That's yeah, exactly. Called fucking worker exactly. Abuse. Being an evil piece of shit is what that's called. Yeah, like, being a slave true. laborer. That's all I'm that's saying. What, that's, that's what Miss Brewer used to do. She oh used my God, to be no, like, I don't think it came from that no, sort of no. reality. She used to be like, <laughs> gonna I used to be like, free I used to be children. like, why is it and so good? And then they're going to get on a hot bus when they go home <laughs> just to warm them up after that cold air. It's like a fucking nuke Luke. Just enough to not kill them. 
ice cold on the inside, hot on the outside. Yeah. We used to be like, why is it so cold in here? Why do you keep it so cold? And she would be like, well, so the you, kids will wear clothes? Well, it makes so you, that the kids will, oh my gosh, she yeah. did it because she wanted them to obey the fucking, oh Yes, God, she wanted them to the, fucking obey Jesus. She obey, didn't want them to obey a dress code. Obey oh Jesus. Yeah, well, that's a whole other set of problems. Obey Jesus. He will please people. us. It just so happens. Jesus probably exists. It just well, so yeah, happens. The man, but the, man, the, the myth, the... Uh, have you ever read uh, like uh, the really old parts of the Old Testament where there's still like multiple gods? I believe that a whole lot more than I believe anything else in the entire Bible. I'm like, yeah, fucking About sure. Sheep god, god, sheep think. god, crazy sacrifice god. Yeah, I'm sure. Why? Yeah, because I mean it's crazy. The the yeah. fucking universe is insane. They had to yeah, bring for sure. Down yeah, to rebuild their own. Huh? They had to break paganism down to rebuild their own. Because that's... What? Like a bunch of animals. Yeah, the whole Christian... We're talking about ancient Hebrew beliefs. I'm talking about <laughs> Yahweh and Baal, and, and I'm talking about fucking... Uh, uh, what, what's the... Uh, Beelzebub is made out of Baal, so it's not it's not Baal. Uh, not Beelzebub. Baal. Uh, no, it's the one where you... you Mammon is is a god, but that's not the one I'm looking for. It's the one where you can you, you well, send a sheep to. <laughs> it's what scapegoat is from. Well, you buddy, know, listen here. You say you out there trying to figure out what that one was called. A lot of people trying to find God too, so they just say, "Well, let me tell you something right now. There's about ten thousand goddamn gods out there that people keep trying to find, and ain't nobody found one. Ain't nobody comes to peace." Hey, hey buddy. Hey, Are you buddy. fan Jim hey. Baker? You know what? Buddy, I ain't listening to no goddamn Jim Baker. <laughs> Get the you fuck out of my face with that fucking Texas some, ass you're garbage. Not prepared. You're not prepared? I, I was you thinking of Jim. Need I was thinking of Jim buckets, man. He needs to buy some bonus buckets. He does. I was thinking of Jim Hagee. I, as a redneck, can agree. He should buy bonus buckets. The world ain't going to last forever. Uh, for plant it, that seed, man. God's gonna come. And plant it and what? Take it all away. Plant, plant that. What? What? What, what do you think? And then about you're gonna live on, on our buckets. So oh, I thought you were talking about seed, like just plant coming no, people. Don't plant coming people. Why not? Because Please plant coming people. Plant. Dude, that meme. I guys, you plant, guys earlier you can is take one message away from this. Plant coming people. Yeah. Fucking. A baby only, is just what keeping. Just look, look, only if it's consensual. What did Gunner just it is to the audience about? What I don't if it is consensual, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Ask permission, but please plant your seed. Yeah, a baby is just a cum that you keep as a pet. I mean, <laughs> the world could use Beautiful. a few less children, though. That would be a disgusting, short lifespan pet. I can't see bringing. And you know it, Jimmy. World right now. <laughs> no. Oh my no. God. It's yeah. hard enough to take care of yourself. Look, look at the future they have. Listen they have to, to you, dog. Look at this mess that we've made. Look at this guy. Yeah. He's unprofessional. Gun boy is. Look, gun boy is so fucking. This show is unprofessional. It is. <laughs> Lick my Our tank. audience is unprofessional. That's why they like it. They're dirty, nasty degenerates. Why you call them? They're cute. Man. They Shut are up. cute. They're cool. I like them. Hey, yeah. what's up, guys? Hit me up. Did you call him outside? He doesn't appreciate you for what you are. I think they are Mr. outsiders. Kiwi. Yeah, You're what's outsiders. up? Would you call them all outsiders? Ha! I would call them outsiders, what we are shamelessly wearing right now. Me and uh, three out of four, actually, except for Gunboy, but he always rocks the robe. I'm wearing a robe. Maybe that's what we'll do he's next. He's the big Lebowski, except he, he's the he's slim Lebowski. He's our Shane Dawson. <laughs> Except he's straight. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's beautiful. I don't ever want to be I'll, compared I'll to that motherfucker ever again I'll in my entire life. There's the road. Shane Dawson's okay, though. He, he really is. Yeah, right. sure, Shane Dawson's Should okay. We call, I don't know if he's okay morally, but his content's he talked about not. He talked about rubbing his dick on his cat until Dude, he came in his fur. That was real. And then, and then he That's claimed, hold real. on, and then he claimed it wasn't real, but regardless of whether it's real or not, why the fuck would you tell that story Dude, in the first place? It was a YouTube time of shock content. Who could say Oh, okay. Shock. It and was, what do, I mean, what it was do we shock do? We content. do shock content. That's some shit we could probably... I don't joke about jerking about. off in Mary's fucking uh, nine litter kitten fat bushy pussy. pussy. 
Oh, 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 wow. Something was funny about that to everybody, Gunner. Could it be entertainment? <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't the fact that I jacked off in my cat's fucking fur. It's still funny. <laughs> it's still fucking funny. <laughs> That's the know, orient of the fucking funniness. I know that. somebody that uh, Keegan, once fried uh, some sperm. You're not going to Like win. they came in a skillet. <laughs> All right, Gunner. I, you know what? I just received. How's, I how's received that? from the battle. Hey, You're how's this for a person. story? I actually appreciate that. I know somebody that took. I love that you. Is a good I, t- I know I somebody that took the fucking dick and they jerked it off and came into a skillet and they fried it in a skillet and they fucking cooked it up and they fed it to a dog. What? Yeah. I also have heard this story. Who? What? Explain, please. He just he just threw it away, but a dog ate it. He didn't like purposely feed it to the dog. The dog ate it after he. Th- the I'm sure he did not purposely after he threw feed out it to the, the dog. fried cum, the scrambled cum. Where did after that story he threw out the fried cum. That's a real story. That's a real story. That's from somebody. Who? That's somebody I know did that. Fried their jizz <laughs> and then fucking Look. their dog ate it accidentally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but like, you fried your jizz. <laughs> so what the fuck do you expect to happen? Like, what the fuck, dude? Is wrong with you? Get a fucking hobby instead of frying your jizz in a pan. Wait. So, this is you know who did Holy that? shit, that's so methodical. Is he a fucking psychopath? No, he's <laughs> just curious that's about just, what would happen. That's just if man-based. he fried his jizz in a pan. That's just he had a scientific mindset. Dude, that's just... Yes, not, he that's did. Just, that's Look. just man beast. Look. They, this is man beast! <laughs> yeah. Well... All of my suspicions are confirmed, man beast. You're going to kill us while you're sleepwalking, but you're not really going to be sleepwalking. So, listen. Well, he said that, that whole argument. And you're going to feed us your fried cum and say, hey, man, try these burgers I just made, dude. Who the fuck is man beast? Can I please ask No, it was just, just, it was just out of boredom to see what it would do. <laughs> he really just cooked it well, just to see what it would do out of boredom. I understand. That's right. like, he said fry like an egg. <laughs> I wish I'm like sure. Like I'm- I said, it confirms all my su- suspicions. <laughs> you have to have like a lack. You have to be really fucking bored to do that. It's just like, damn, I'm just curious. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry to have put you through that, but that's a great story. I mean, I was put through nothing. I love, I love Man Beast. Everyone loves Man Beast. Shouts out to Man Beast. Man beast. What a man beast. So wait, this is the first time you've heard of someone actually cooking sperm. Yeah. There, there's entire cookbooks on Amazon related to how to prepare sperm in different ways. Do you think any of you that it could possibly be good? No, I mean, it it's gay as hell. That's look. what it is. <laughs> I'm mean, gay as hell. <laughs> there's, gay th- as that's hell. all it is. If you want to eat, if you want to specially cook sperm, you think Gordon? Ramsay you are a gay t- person. No, I'm sorry. There's no reason why anybody would want to do so that like, other than some kind of a sexual proclivity for sperm eating. Would women want to eat the fried sperm? No, wait, wait, even wait, if well, it's yeah, like but, a fine I mean, dish. Yeah, sure. but I mean, <laughs> they're not going to cook it. So and no, enough. they actually Go don't ahead, really want to eat it. It's about the taste. Yeah, okay. There's actual nutritional value to semen. Uh-huh, yeah. There's nutritional value to all kinds of shit. <laughs> Have you ever tried people your eat all kinds of shit. Crazy people yeah, eat tofu. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> but I, I think we should you. eat insects. <laughs> I agree with you in the aspect I think we should eat insects. If you, if you eat like one of these recipes, you're essentially becoming a cum dumpster. <laughs> I, I won't deny that. Well, look, speaking of cum dumpster, have you ever tried but, your own cum? Have you ever tried your own cum? I didn't cook it. No, I mean, yeah, like, I'm not, not asking you know, if you cooked it. You don't have to flavor it or anything. I'm just I mean, asking if still, you Apparently you do in these cookbooks. That's well, still this, totally in these different. cookbooks, this is just out of It is totally yeah. different. You're 100% <laughs> right, Yeah, that's I don't, going I don't through know. a big <laughs> length to taste your fried sperm. This is just out of practicality. Recipe out of practicality. Okay. Yeah, they do. Just just so you're, so, so you you're inventing advocate? something off the fly, no, potentially. Would you be an advocate? Hold on. Yeah, I'm yeah. basically inventing something <laughs> off of the fly here when I say that. I don't know if this is an actual recipe in one of the books, but imagine you're making cupcakes or something that calls for yeah. eggs, but instead of eggs, you use semen. <laughs> How many <laughs> guys are you going to get to jerk <laughs> off for this fucking <laughs> six egg well, recipe that you've got to get? Six fucking- egg. The sex egg tutorial. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> six <laughs> eggs. Okay, imagine the recipe calls for six eggs. How many no, guys are gonna no, be required to produce yeah. six eggs yeah. worth of sperm? Not a, not a complete, <laughs> not a complete like, like replacement. But say you. So you're just adding it for flavor. Then? <laughs> you, yeah, you just add it in with your eggs. Well, like, okay. What's gonna happen? Well, then you you're gay. That's that obviously the answer. Like that. Yeah, I mean, being a cum dumpster myself, I will agree that it's oh. a little gay to use it. But <laughs> you really wouldn't know if it was in cum. Uh, well, they would cum be cum cakes. cakes. Just cum cakes. <laughs> yeah, they would. They be would. Cum they cakes. would be cum cakes. But you would really never know if someone just served it to you because it would have the same. Well, that's fair. You're right. I wouldn't cake. know if you orally <laughs> violated <laughs> me with cum flavored cupcakes. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I would feel violated though if you so told me the that they were cum flavored cupcakes. What if you knew beforehand though? Yeah, but what if, if I knew beforehand, I'd probably be like, yeah, sure. Well, if the dude, okay. well, well yes, see, that's you probably taste the weddings, same. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't you, cum cakes a thing at gay weddings? So you'd be curious to try it. Why aren't not cum cakes a thing at that's gay weddings? Okay, well, I don't have a problem with that. Let's do it. <laughs> There are cum cakes for, at gay Let's wedding. cater gay weddings. Oh, there should be. God, those, make I mean, cakes. those would be if some fun cakes good, to then... make, wouldn't they? Everybody could just take <laughs> yeah. turns beating eggs, man. You're beating semen. <laughs> now, let's all get together. That would be like part of the ritual oh, for wedding is for everybody's jizz yeah, to go into the cake. It's you guys all have a jerk-off party. <laughs> and you will invite... Look. Dad will invite... Uh, Who's going to be the pivot man? <laughs> pivot man? What is about the pivot man? Oh, That's the guy who sits in the middle and goes... I'm sure there are Gay That's the person who's getting Look, married. I'm sure there are enough gay couples <laughs> that have more than enough, like, people in an open relationship to participate in something like this. Oh my god. Nah. The, the gay community is way too sexual. The gay community? Yeah, the gay community. Listen. The gay community. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> them. Alright, AJ Styles has a point oh, wait, over wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. You can tell by my community. He got community. it. This guy got it. You got yeah. it. Oh, uh, but Styles. But the point is that the people around here who are gay are just like the oh, people who are straight around here because they're very, yeah, exactly. They're too small to be <laughs> fucking open. All right. They got to be fucking jealous of each other just like straight couples. Most of them have fucked one another already. So. Well, that's because there's like five of them. Yeah. There's, but think about that. Like the recipes apparently, because there's more than one cookbook of this. Which is the original topic here. So it's not like a joke cookbook. No, it's not. No, a it's joke. a very there serious. Are people that they've prepared pudding is. on Daniel Dosh for the. Audience. What's the, what's the popularity of this cookbook? I have no idea. I'd say it has to be minimal. Yeah. I, that's what I think too. It is minimal it for it is minimal for genuine interest. I'm sure that plenty of people have bought it for novelty. Yeah. Just to yeah, be I'm oh saying. I'm hip I have the cum cookbook. That would be know? a good gag gift. It would be. Yeah. But then would it, would it not make you curious if you looked through it and you were like, you know what? That you know what? I think I want to get seven or eight guys together to be beat off. No, wait, wait, wait. You do it yourself. But you just put it back. You just devote 12 days to fucking beating yeah. off and storing drink a sperm. Lot of, and drink a lot of water. <laughs> Is that what creates sperm? <laughs> yes, water? a lot of water. Water, water creates no. sperm? No. Water does not create water sperm. Water will help. I bet McDonald's would say that sperm. Coke creates more water, sperm than water. Water helps because your body to create all kinds of lubricating fluids, yes. but sperm is not a lubricating fluid. You need to eat protein. So it's a variety of things that create yeah. sperm, as suspected. Sperm is not a one thing. You're, yeah, you're thinking definitely. of ejaculate as sperm, and ejaculate is not sperm. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, I had a question earlier after all this sperm talk. I had a question, too, before we I was leave gonna, the sperm talk. I was talk. actually oh going to mention it <laughs> to you directly. This is what I was trying to say earlier. Uh, like, so, as sperm eating advocates, if the people... You know, if not it's, a it's not cool. a sperm eating advocate, <laughs> by the way, no, just no. for anybody right. watching. Okay, it's so all what the sperm you want? So what it's Jimmy just, said? It only tastes bad. I mean, if I'm you want to eat it, go ahead. Variety of perspectives. 
But what Jimmy was saying earlier was that there are nutritional benefits to sperm. That's the aspect he was coming at. Very and what minute. I'm thinking yeah. is, would you also be an advocate for eating bugs because of that reason? I, I am mean, an advocate like for eating bugs. You are? Yes. I think that's something that if our culture could get over the dirtiness of... It's just and, uh, there's no it. dirtiness. It's just that we're but fucking they, they prudish pieces is. of shit. And we <laughs> need to start eating bugs. All of us. We stigmatize the idea of this country. Huh. Corn this for the swine. I mean, like, I'm not against it. I mean, like, In I'd be France, hesitant to try just because it's something really different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, so we're not the only posh ones over here. I was going to ask, though, if every, if, like, if eggs equated to semen in this occasion, if you were trying to make yourself some homemade chocolate milk, how many semen would you have to oh beat off God. until the milk to make some chocolate the milk? Perfect what the perfect Oreo semen milk. About? Why would you add semen to chocolate milk? <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out what the semen into the things he likes. <laughs> no, I'm just like, gonna, damn, I like chocolate no, milk. No, I'm just, just maybe no, I drink <laughs> sperm and milk. No, I was just gonna say, ask Gunner how it, how it adds the chocolate milk. It's a good protein shake, man. Go I wouldn't gym. know. I've never <laughs> tried to add sperm to my chocolate milk, so I have no clue. No, how you've that not. Is. You've not tried to add it to your chocolate milk before. I think you're confused about who started this conversation. Ask no, Jeremy about no. how the oh, chocolate shit, no, milk. I think I, no, think I know Gigan, exactly what's Gigan going Gigan knows, on now. Gigan knows what I'm doing. <laughs> Jimmy, I think, is cracking some... Oh. I'm cracking some hard. Oh, I'm cracking dang. some hard old jokes. He's throwing some shade. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's he's hurting my feelings. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Because I, I ate a trained ed scorpion and he came in my chocolate milk. <laughs> it was the one source and of relief I had. Him. Yeah, it no, was, he didn't tell me. It was me my source of relief too. It's my one source oh, of relief fuck as you, well. Jimmy. Oh, I didn't beat your ass that day. I'll beat your ass tonight. Oh on the shit! He threw down at John Caldwell. He threw down at Jimmy. Tune into the next episode to see them go down. In a see who I glory. challenge to a fight next. <laughs> It's all in good fun and love. I would expect the same type of fucking silliness Ooh. back. <laughs> My that was the top. The, I hey. want to fight Gunner for for the championship. Mike Tyson just championed. Uh, we all have deranged ass stories like that. I dare say, if not Mike like that. Tyson challenged me. I would not, be afraid. I would also be very afraid if Mike Tyson challenged me. I mean, Why would he do that? Though? Yeah. Just because he he likes I don't me. like him. I don't like Gunner. Is he gonna be? He likes me. We're both tiger enthusiasts. Go to the We're both tiger <laughs> enthusiasts. I mean, I guess you could maybe do that with tigers, but I think Mike Dawson is a little bit Do less what crazy with tigers, Keegan? Enjoy I tigers. I, I think Jimmy. you. Oh. Oh. Jimmy. Some Quit being shit. gay. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I was going to say that Eat shit. some motherfucking sperm cake. We'll, we'll pick cum up cakes. some sperm cake. We'll fix some cum cake, some cum quat, whatever the fuck you want, man. I love you, Jimmy, though. 100%. Oh, percent oh. oh, Yeah, as hell. 100%. <laughs> Make a meme out of this, guys. That's all you have to do. That's the only way you can you can, uh, you can can take this and make it into something. The Jedi Robe Master. <laughs> Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan Custoni. Custoni. No. I deny that. <laughs> you deny it? You forbid it? Yeah, I forbid that. That sounds like a terrible, like a terrible, like, uh, ha- hastily made, like, weed movie that is just not that good. I'm Jedi, I'm Jedi Custody. <laughs> I mean, it would do good as, like, a Vine, maybe. <laughs> Say something, Jedi Custody. I think he's Jedi Cadetti. He's dead as fuck. He's hulking up. He's hulking up. Hulk's going to be Hulkamania. Oh shit, he's pointing the finger. I'm dead. I can't, I can't do that. You don't know how to sell this shit. Gunner, what yeah, would you do? What would you do if when you pointed... Oh shit. Oh shit. It's begun. It's begun, ladies and gentlemen. It, it arrives sooner than later. Look at this. This is crazy action on Brain Cake. Oh, oh, if only John Cardell were here to also commentate. I can't lift you. You grabbed me. You grabbed my nuts, I'm trying man. to give you a body slam, You man. cupped my balls and just squeezed the Yeah, it's because your balls are supple. <laughs> and want for triple. He wanted some more of that milk, man. Oh, you want some prostate milk, bubby? 
No. <laughs> No, thank just, you. You just got to tug on it a few times. You just tug a couple just times, stick a finger in my butt. Eight. Put your finger in my butt. Then we'll put a finger in your butt. <laughs> then we'll no, put no, fingers no. in each other's butts. It's like a... Everybody have butt fingers. <laughs> like like butt fingers. fingers. Nobody <laughs> will be having butt fingers. That's it, like a weird-ass Beavis and Butthead episode or something. It only butt fingers. Yeah. I don't care how long butt it hurts butt for me. I'm just yeah. not interested in butt fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's I don't have anything right against butt like fingers. <laughs> 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 no. No. <laughs> I, I have no fascination <laughs> with shit at all. Butt fingers, man. <laughs> butt fingers 2020. He's running for president. He really is. Butt, butt fingers, fingers. Butt fingers these nuts 2020. <laughs> Dude, I'm all but, for yeah. butt, butt fingers and these nuts. He's nuts as the vice president. Oh, my God. Well, he's he a senior politician, election. so yeah. he yeah, he has to... Succeed. Wait, he got sold over to, to this party. But you know when he got over to this party, party, you know who people... The, uh, uh, the fucking... Uh, okay, we're, I'm going to have to recover and remember what we were just talking about. We were talking about gays. No, that, no, that was not what I was aiming at at all. It's gone. <laughs> no, it wasn't the gays. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, what's what's you on your mind the, tonight? <laughs> the gays. It the must gays. be. <laughs> must be. The Why? gays. They're they're hilarious. They're hilarious. Have you never seen a gay? <laughs> I live with a gay. <laughs> well, there you go. They're funny people. <laughs> We are the same friends. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's almost like they're just like everybody else. Yeah, almost, ain't it? Uh, no, won't a except it. way funnier than everybody else. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's kind of like the big dick stereotype for black people. Gay people are funnier than normal people. Mm, yeah. Well, it's kind of like yeah. you have to see. It's the a positive. Okay, kind of like stereotypes. the big dick stereotype for me that you guys <laughs> perpetuated for the entire fucking time that I've known you. What What do you feel like your your perception is of like the gay community, as they say? Oh, I mean, it really depends on how you look at it. Like, is there if you a look at community? it from like, yeah. I mean, there's a community. Yeah. Well. There's no straight community. What the fuck are we doing, guys? <laughs> we don't That's just like the out. other 90-something percent of the world, so... We don't really need oh, that. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like you're overestimating the amount of straight people, but... Yeah, oh. I feel like... I, I do... I don't know. I kind of feel like it's a... I feel like if it was like, more is, culturally it's pretty acceptable... much like a... Um, a spectrum. So you fall one way or the yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. I, that's what I was saying. I'm saying yeah. you, you, there's way more people that are somewhere along that spectrum that are not yeah. straight people. But as a whole, with <laughs> pride and everything like that, that's strictly toward the <laughs> gay, lesbian, and trans communities because of, like, all that shit. And there's a lot of, like, you know, if you go to, like, on a chat room, like IMVU it or something. Yeah, it is smoky in here. I don't know if, why we smoke a lot of cigarettes. If you yeah. uh, if you were to go to like a chat room though, there would be gay, yeah, chat rooms, yeah, everywhere. And like, there's that with like video game communities, and I, I don't know. It's just interesting how that one thing, like your sexual well, preference, well, because I, I brings guess you together for in that way. many years. It was stigmatized, like it was a bad thing. Yeah. To be this way, because you yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Way. It's kind of an advocate. Like thing. people would lock you up, the police would beat you. That's where Stonewall mm-hmm. and all that came from. Yeah, that's, that's why Pride began. And that's something really oh. that Pride should put. <laughs> Wrong like, Stonewall. I was thinking yeah. Stonewall. Jay, Honestly, but. I feel like Pride <laughs> should like, focus. Yeah, yeah. Like whenever they have those parades and stuff, they should focus on that sort of thing and telling they really, stories. They really do. Like the Pride events, they have people that tell their own stories of like being gay coming out to their families how everyone accepted it how yeah. like how empowering There's it is to also just, the pageantry that turns people yeah. like my dad off who exactly uh, That's obviously what I'm saying, are is that angry have, that people are in next to nothing clothing, clothing yes wise. that's what yeah. i'm saying like yeah. it's a very over sexual community but at the mm. same time that's well, part of being the openness of just being gay you can be who but, you want to be yeah and that but probably that's why feels you don't exhilarating. just have to be it gay feels, to be at pride now, you just have feels, to be proud of who you are 
And and the people who do that at Pride aren't the people who dress like they don't dress like that every day, but that's their one day out of the year where they feel yeah. like, hey, I, I can, can be myself to the fullest. Well, what I was going to say, guys, is that uh, I'm not one of these people who advocates for any particular political right. group or anything like that. Uh, I just was saying that uh, isn't there possibly a different way that that can be done, you know, a different and, way and that, that can be expressed? Yeah. And, and Eventually, one that yeah. one that maybe you, you wouldn't have to be walking with your kids down the street and explain why the dude has a piece of right. there floss are more up in his ass. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> definitely parts of it. If it could be more exist. formal, almost. Yeah, like a banquet. Yeah, which is aren't, like, aren't gay people awesome at that too? Isn't that like a stereotype? Shorts, shorts and things like that, as long as they're not yeah. excessively yeah. short or you know, just sure, be yourself. But you yeah. don't have to get halfway naked to do that. And it, it, yeah, and it's kind of like you're you're by being super sexual and flamboyant. It's almost like fitting into the stereotype. Yes. And I think that's why it turns people like, did you say your dad? Yeah. Away my, from my dad wanting to have anything to do with it. not necessarily the most uh, gay-friendly person on the entire planet. <laughs> I would agree. My father isn't either. Yeah. yeah. It's well, a weird... most of the time people's fathers are not. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially of this generation. But like, think... it's an interesting perspective on how the way the outside world views the whole pride LGBTQ thing because a lot of people look at it and say well why do they get to do this but we can't it's more of like just be yourself and advocate that everybody be treated the same yeah. for who well, they are and I, I don't want to seem like I'm completely close minded to that idea I think that sexuality should be kind of destigmatized in general Yeah, and I like think it that shouldn't matter what your sexual well, preference is or <clears throat> anything like it's really in all honesty it's nobody's business who you're fucking yeah but it shouldn't surprise somebody if you just get in a relationship with another fucking it's nobody's, human being. Let me, let me put a disclaimer on this. It's nobody's saying. business who you're fucking as long as they're of legal age to be fucked. Right. And, and right. you know what? You, we've we've <laughs> right. grown up. Exactly. I don't know if it's because we've grown up with such prejudice around here. But, like, it's just all straight white people here. Yeah. And yeah, honestly, <laughs> it gives us a warped perspective to begin with. And I think there are a lot of people who are just put off by that. Who don't want to be, you know? They. they I don't understand. think it gives us a warped perspective, but I think it gives us very limited access, if any access, to the other perspective. Yeah, and when any you see it, it shocks you a little bit. It didn't shock me, but I can see we, how it we shocked have the people. Internet. <laughs> yeah, like we're we're a generation that grew. Up I'm a with fucking internet. degenerate. That's my problem. I see, that's the thing. The generations that didn't have access to the World Wide Web, it shocks them because they would have never really encountered that culture. Yeah. Or that lifestyle. But really, that's, that's, a that's so why I advocate for so public schooling. And open I, I hate now. homeschooling. Yeah. I think homeschooling is yeah. wrong. I mean, you like shouldn't it's do in that commercials, for so, you know, like purposes. And Nickelodeon airs commercials all the time. For that's why like I'm all that. for really? like TV shows. Disney, you know, I mean, like they're it's all like more very place, so prideful. So it's like it's more mo- like more accepted now than it's ever been. Like, yeah, just humans dating other humans. That's, that's a great thing. What it comes down thing. to it, it yeah. shouldn't matter what, what your sexual agree. preference or whatever. Just date s- another human if you do happen to fall in love. But with yeah, whatever, we do have a warped perspective. You know, I seen somebody you talking about. I seen somebody saying negatively, yeah. talking like you should never have to. Online, in a lot of the, cases, uh, um, pride brings out the stories to the forefront of like people who have been victimized by just holding hands with people in public things like that like it should just not why would you even pay attention to it just let them be them let them have their moment they wouldn't do the same to you if you were holding hands with your wife or Mm -hmm. you know whatever that's the way it should just be and I don't understand the prejudice against well I could do it but they shouldn't be allowed to that's what I can't but I've always been a very open minded person Mm -hmm. so I mean and I'll well, Hopefully I think to always be that way. what Jimmy was saying about like they're putting it in cartoons now. You yeah. know, they're putting it on like Nickelodeon. Yeah, they're bringing it to the forefront. They're making it more common so that the kids growing up will just see it and it'll just be. Normalized. It's just it's exactly. just accepted. Yeah, at, I like at, the way Steven age. Universe is doing that. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, uh, there's there's other cartoons that are doing it a little bit heavy-handedly. 
uh, I think, like Trans Hero. And, and I like it that the gay characters. A little bit, uh, See, like, that's another thing. Like, are just normal people. I would actually be okay with just a whole gay cartoon. Like, it's just all gay characters because that would be a specific audience to gay children. Mm. Because we do, do that. Could... There's all black cartoons. There's Spanish cartoons. But then we get this into Christian the cartoons, idea of child sexuality, and that's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I don't. People. Yeah, the like. Yeah. The, I don't know if that should be what they should be thinking about. You know, is like relationships and sexual well, relationships. Well, not. It doesn't have to be that way. If it was like you know, that's so Raven uh, talked well, about that's what race, I'm saying. racial like, issues. If you approach it, it as on the like a teenage aspect, yeah, or a teenage demographic, an Adult Swim demographic, where yeah. it's just all no, gay. I characters. can understand that definitely. Yeah, yeah. because not like that a, relates not like to Dora people. the Explorer. Yeah, but no, like Enrique. But the that's what I'm saying is, if designer, you look at the entire yeah. demographic of cartoons, there's one specifically for every demographic of mm-hmm. child so why not just create an all gay character cartoon you know what the or thing, show the thing with a lot of cartoons really especially for like super young children it's crazy like it's the one thing that's actually kind of pure a lot of the times because a lot of the episodes that i've seen of shows like that like barney it's all about just love everybody yeah. you know mm-hmm. and it's all about love like tv shows for kids already talk about good values it's just how the parents raise them ultimately though that i yeah. think makes because the, the parents are the influence they get mostly now well that and now it's the smartphone yeah well you can't you know you can't get all your values from a tv show no i mean that that's mm. never gonna happen it's just a part of your life it's just a part of your everyday life and uh just depicts like what is commonplace you know and yeah a lot of that of course comes with like the society the part of the society bubble that you grow up in and it's like the uh, media influences culture and culture influences media yeah it's uh, what's going to happen is when what's going to happen socially ultimately but it's like making that separation Mm -hmm. between the culture and the individual I don't know. I think that uh, maybe TV has had too much of an influence on our children recently. Really? Yeah. Do you think TV shows typically show I think good that, values? Yeah, I do think. I think it's a mixed bag. Good values, but I think that they don't explain the entire story of what's going on because you you see a lot of uh, sugar coating in in children's animation. You say it's yeah, more left true. to interpretation. More what? It's more left to interpretation. The, you know, I've yeah. seen a... Like, yeah. loose yeah, loose yeah. morals are thrown out there, but it's your interpretation yeah. as to what they are, what... And when you raise your be. kids with loose morals, mm-hmm. then they don't really have anything... You know, they don't have a backbone to They don't have a raised, foundation. But, yeah. And I feel like a lot more of our kids these days have been, <laughs> been raised almost exclusively by TV. Oh, yeah. Mm, They're raised yeah. by Kindles you and too. shit. You too. Kids are definitely being raised by YouTube. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is why you need smart parents who literally know how to there restrict ought to be a parent accesses test. on yeah. technology. Wasn't well, there, like, I a would... study done that there was, like, 30-some percent of, like, kids between, like, fifth graders to seniors in high school said that they wanted to be a YouTube celebrity? Yeah, as I would their believe that, man. Occupation. A lot of the kids I know yeah. say that. Seriously, like that's not a lie. I've heard that a lot too. I well, mean, like you it's... think about what a lot of the YouTubers that kids are watching, like Jake Paul. A lot of kids watch Jake Paul, and Jake Paul is all about the money and the. A lot fame of people and... still watch PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah I, I think mean, PewDiePie's a million. He's a very... he's a good influence, probably. Yeah. <laughs> ultimately, like he's very much cultural satire, but he's ultimately a good influence. Yeah, yeah. Markiplier, a lot of people watch him. Yeah, Markiplier is a good influence too. I think. <laughs> Uh, Boogie's somewhere. So, you know, know it's kind of like a question. How are these kids going to come up raised on YouTube instead of TV? But it's, it's not like the way that we know YouTube. It's now algorithmically fed to them. And AI is raising the children mm. in the way that the AI sees it. Well, that's fucked. <laughs> well, um, you know, what do you think Woo! the main purpose of the AI is for? Thank it's you. for the corporation. Well, it's for the creator. I mean, ultimately, that's what's happening when these children go to YouTube and they just watch recommended and trending videos. Yeah. 
That is They're the being AI, conditioned. The AI is conditioning these children. For but their what future. were we being before? We were still being conditioned by the media and and all the in access sense, we didn't but have. But someone was someone on behind sitting political in the background. Closed doors. This is the difference. Be, with our childhood with TV, someone was sitting in the background saying, "That's okay. That's not okay. That's okay. That's not okay." A person was ultimately making this decision at a network somewhere. The difference being that the AI would. It doesn't care. It doesn't carry moral morals or anything. It has no. You, well, do you know the Facebook AI? Do any of you know about that? Part of its program is to recommend videos, not to make you happy. What do you think gets the most comments? What do you think gets the most angry reactions? The it's most videos shocking, that are gonna piss most. you off. Yeah. And they're gonna well. feed that to you and fucking think about how that warps your perception of the world when you spend two hours a day on Facebook and all you see is things that are getting you upset. That's yep. not really Facebook's fault though. It's it's not. It, it's, it's just that's what the algorithm tells them people react to, and, and what, what people react exactly. to. Exactly. Don't you think it's their responsibility? People like to, to beat off to how pissed off they are. They do. It brings in that AdSense money. Because there's it's a re- all about ad- the or, dopamine. Man, it's a fucking. There's an outrage the culture. Yeah. Shit. Reactionary cultures. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, out, it's everywhere. I mean, we want likes on on Instagram. We want. Yeah. You know the the YouTube audience. We everything. One I mean, new. It, it everybody's wanting lot. everything to be viral all the time. It says a lot that people are allowing an AI that Google doesn't really ultimately even understand how it works. Mm. Is do you, do you think they would just say children. that though? No, they really don't. Like they know because it was kind of a self learning AI or self guiding. So they just kind of interject code every now and then to control it, to make it go one way or the other, but it's on its own tracks. God damn, do because kids need to start follows. learning to code in high school? Because that's what I feel like needs to happen. It, I don't know what sh- don't say to learn start. to code. Hashtag don't learn to code. Hashtag learn to code. Take so, it to Twitter. Like, ultimately, yes, the children need to be taught about their technological future that is coming, that none of the generations below us really understand they know how to work the device but they couldn't actually tell you how it functions at the granular level exactly it's kind of scary because we have a lot of the advance in technology based on people way smarter than us with technology (laughs) so we can't even understand what's going on with those the fundamental level is i mean it's really basic like there's a lot to it but you can break it up into basics and teach it to children like starting in sixth oh, to yeah. fifth grade for sure just have them take a computer course where they they talk about how it's if, if you could this. get kids because if you that, could get a teacher that would actually give a shit because i'm gonna be honest the YouTube AI, we have computer teachers in high school and i'm sure you guys yeah they did really too. didn't give a shit they didn't give a fuck that was an easy you class. play games and you just hung out you might do a topping test every yeah. now and then because that's the only that's thing a, they that's can only think because of. they I were just assigned to you the last everything. day but like here you just we just need this to put in the yeah. files exactly that's it. But like, I don't. It's hard to say what's actually going on with the the YouTube AI because all that Google really ever says about it is that oh well, it just follows what gets the most watch time. Mm-hmm. It's all about those minutes, baby. And they there's specifics with YouTube videos. You can't go the first thirty seconds. Blah 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 blah. The if you problem. Don't the yeah, yeah. problem is that. They're know, that's selling what I was thinking. people's information. How, that's what it comes it down to more than anything. Any but you, if they're selling while, people's information, they're you're going to have a whole catalog I made three MB on of my raw the so traits of people. You're going to know exactly how to sell yeah. everything you want to them. Yeah. Whether that's in the club, ideologies before they or even products. Came back on TV. Like they're going to be able to know exactly what you want. Yeah, it, it's crazy. And that's the future of these generations of child, children will have to grow up in. Yeah. If, of course, Scary. you know, the climate tra- change and all the <laughs> shit that's going to come with that, with crops dying and all this other horse shit. Yeah, watch us you know, just know, If fucking... that doesn't essentially eradicate most of the global population and we have a recess in knowledge and etc. as it dies off. So... <laughs> we just, after all this talk of worrying about what are the kids going to do with the AI, this it just is... ends up that... 
we completely we're divert looking, from we're that looking path down and... paths for futures that can go from super bleak to super advanced technology living on multiple planets i mean technology is it's a toss-up really because, because you, it can be had and lost in a yeah, second we have the, i mean we're pretty smart though we are pretty smart. We are I think a we very are adaptable species of human... Well, apes. Apes, yeah, pretty much. Babbins. Because if you look at it... <laughs> multiple, <laughs> times, <laughs> multiple times throughout human history, we've adapted to climate change with the Ice Age and all of that crap. Uh, yeah. Essentially, the separation of continents, all of that. So it's pretty interesting how... Even now, we're basically like the grass of the animal kingdom. We can live just about anywhere on the globe, and we're super dense in those places. Well, so a lot of that is to do with oh. technology. Squeak. Yeah. Squeak. A lot of that is on the backbone of technology. With electricity, for example. If mm -hmm. the, the electric was gone tomorrow because of some fucking we sun relied way flare too much or some on shit... It. We would be lost because it would fry all the satellites, every the, all the electronics in our cars, everything we rely on for information would be gone. All of our lives, unless you had a gas stove in your house, you couldn't cook. And think of the outrage, the spoil. cultural outrage that would happen when people can't get those dopamine hits from their phone all the time. Those Facebook. I mean, honestly. Shit. Yeah, it would like, be. And. I, I really that is, do think that, that they would go through withdrawals. What do you think? That could be one of the future. Some of them, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. You don't think most people would? Well, not, no, uh, not worldwide. I don't think most people. I, I, I don't think most people in America, no. <sighs> I don't know. Man. I think people would be pretty freaked out not to be able to text people. Yeah. Not to be able to Maybe people everybody. somewhere else that I don't know. I mean, I just think not going like through the same this, stuff as people area, around here. Probably not as yeah, much. No, as but like a, most of the... Well, I mean, do you think the people are in cities are that much different than people around here? Oh, yeah. They definitely... Really? Yeah, there's got to be a lot of people in cities that constantly need that social interaction. Yeah, yeah I'm sure there's like a lot a more lot. of them. You know, because about it in terms of business. Because of the populations are more dense in those areas, you expect to see a higher number of people that would require that, that would have a societal breakdown. Versus well, people yeah, that just, just like you would expect to see a higher number of any group of yeah. people in, in, those, <laughs> in those places, but... I don't think that that changes the overall statistics of, of who is living there. I think most people are but if, if like most people. Of, if there's a lot of younger generations who grew up on the social technology, they would have fits of rage because they wouldn't be able to like socially well, communicate. Maybe. And, and I could definitely see people my <laughs> little sister's age going through those technological withdrawals. But not... Not people like our age. I don't. No. I don't see that with people. But like what about the people our bit. age whose livelihoods are made using the internet as a platform? Yeah. I mean losers. The very small <laughs> minority of our population. <laughs> that no, are losers. I mean people who you who have businesses and people who use that to email and contact other people on who actually Facebook. actually sell products call, online, et cetera, et And cetera. At the way that marketing has changed well, with the internet. Well, that's different from, like, dopamine withdrawal. That's, like, that's yeah, like that's economic true, inability to make the, your living. Well, overall, I'm just saying, yeah, maybe the it wealth, wouldn't be withdrawal, but I'm, it would be super would damaging. Because most of that is digital. Well, the yeah. wealth of the world would just poof. <laughs> Yeah, you're 100% right there. I mean, it, it would be chaos, essentially, is, is what I'm thinking. And a lot of it because we rely so much on technology. Just electricity. That one thing, electricity. That's insane to think about. But yeah, you're right. I wasn't talking about the uh, the dopamine hits. Maybe I was a little bit uh, hyperbole with that. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, that's just one of the roads the world could go down. It's pretty crazy. I like to think that we're going to go down a road of eventually we're going to achieve the, the world peace and become a space faring civilization. Maybe. I hope so. That would be a nice, beautiful, beautiful end. Like, a lot of my... Honestly, my favorite video game has, like, the, the perfect name that I would expect to see from a government like that, the United Space uh, Coalition. 
United Nations Space Coalition. That's what it is, the UNSC. That's in Halo. That's what they call their, their space fleets and all that shit. But it makes sense. I just remembered I have a face cam. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> you have a face a cam? Yeah. Keegan had a moment. He just realized he's got a face cam. <laughs> well, uh... It was a good thing you realized you're right then at the end of the show. Yeah, yeah. to be honest, yeah, okay, I'm glad. Because honestly, what was going on over here the whole time you guys were talking was just me motioning to Jimmy, like, should I cut this off? You think this is a good place to end it? And I'd point at him and I'd be like, uh uh-uh, uh, nah, cut, cut. And then he never responded. So. I was doing this, yeah. I was going, you were. Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't know. I didn't know for sure. That's what I was like, eh, eh. Yeah. I mean, that's fine, yeah. All right. Well, we've ran a good, still. we've ran what, probably a good. 45 minutes an hour. Yeah, what yeah. finished your guys' thoughts, for sure. Yeah, well, the, the closing, closing thoughts. thinking about. Gunner, do you, I mean, <laughs> uh, anybody I have called any? him Gunner earlier. What oh, the but fuck? no, I was just going to say that, like, in, in that future with, with Halo, like, essentially. <laughs> Halo? <laughs> no, my, my finishing thoughts on that right there. That we would have a beautiful future through that. You say beautiful future, 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 Jim. We'll, we'll have a beautiful future in Halo. <laughs> uh, that was brain cake. Baked cake. Uh, baked cake. Come cakes. Come cakes. Come baked. Baked cum cakes. No baked cum cake.